pink on the one with like the Ariel. Or Ariel. Yeah. Wait, what did you just say? Are you into the movie Brain? Search it up right quick. It's like a 3D. We're not in love, but I make love to you. Oh. She's not even bad, but I was just like, as a joke, I don't know if you know. Who it is. <laughs> Brave, is that a is that a new Disney movie? No, I think that's a oldish one. It's like a newish, newish yeah. oldish one. It's not like a hand drawn one, but it's not like came out in like. Yeah, it's not like a classic, but like it's something. like a. Yeah, Ariel, in my opinion, is perhaps one of the best looking Disney princesses, and I never fucking seen Brave. I yeah, think Brave, you don't even need to see it. I've I think never that shit had to come out recently. It came out recent. It's like it's not a classic, yeah. but like it's like a it's like a it's recent older one. It's like than some Frozen, like shit. Frozen, yeah, yeah, a little bit older than Frozen. Is it a redhead one? She's yeah, redhead, she's like redhead, curly hair. Oh, has the like bitch freckles. from Frozen is redhead too, right? Is no. She? no, no, I'm thinking a tangled. I'm thinking a tangled. Which no, is tangled she? is blonde too, dude. That's that's Rapunzel. Oh man, I'm just in my <laughs> mind is just creating like You're fucking fantasies about. in my head. Yeah, I think just Ariel's like, oh, the only like they were all red. It's Ariel and like Brave. Or I don't even know the like the girl's name, but like I, yeah. I don't think she was like a princess, but then she was like, I want to shoot bows and arrows. Yeah, too. some some shit like that. <sighs> That's kind of like, like Mulan already. It's kind of like Mulan already. Mulan's the shit. That's Mulan a good is dope. Movie. Mulan is shout dope. out to Mulan. Definitely yeah. not a redhead. Mulan was a redhead. <laughs> At the same time, <laughs> she Asian was probably redhead? she was probably the least hot of them all, in my opinion. I don't think she was that I don't know. hot. She she kind of like played it off as a man for a little bit. So I think the dude in that movie killed it. The fucking dude lead was like oh, he's yeah, a good looking true. Asian guy, dude. I was like, this guy's this guy's better looking than Mulan. Fuck. <laughs> Disney fucked up. Disney fucked up. You yeah, gotta I'm make a male the lead instead. as pretty as possible before before it like outshines the Disney princess, dude. Yeah, what about Chris Rock as that dragon in the movie though? You're thinking Wait, of Osmo- that No, you're not thinking I always think that. Wait, or no. no. It wasn't uh was it Chris Rock? Oh, wait, oh was Mulan. Was, uh, no, it was, Ed, it was uh, Chris. Eddie oh, no, it was Eddie Chris Murphy. Tucker. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Sure it wasn't it was Chris Tucker? No, I don't no. think it was Chris Tucker. It probably wasn't Chris Tucker, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that would be ridiculous <laughs> if it was Chris <laughs> Tucker. Wild. Just like a high, his <laughs> high-pitched voice. I'm definitely oh, a fucking idiot. It's Eddie Murphy. <laughs> it's definitely Eddie Murphy. Because <laughs> Eddie Murphy was Chris Donkey, Rock. too. He was Donkey and Shrek, which is that Disney or is that Pixar? Uh, I feel like they're the same thing. I don't know. I don't think it's Disney. It's like Luther Viltimonium. I don't even know what Shrek is. Is Shrek his own thing? No, Shrek is definitely. Shrek is I think Dreamworks. it's Disney because I think Dreamworks, technically, yeah, but like, yeah, it is DreamWorks. What's the what's the princess from that? Fiona. Fiona, yeah. I think she's technically considered a Disney princess. No, she's. she's not. I don't think I don't so. Think Are you so. sure, dude? I'm yeah, I don't sure. think so. She's a DreamWorks sure? princess. Yeah, it's a DreamWorks. <sighs> I don't even know what DreamWorks is. Is That's that the one like with the like moon that goes? The- yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the <laughs> is that it? The one where he like shit. fishes, like yeah. oh that yeah, one, dude. That's my favorite yeah. one. That's my favorite intro, dude. It's a dope intro. That, that like, intro is pretty lit. Kind of the worst animated movie. It's way better than I don't know, but I fuck with Shrek. What's the one that's Shrek's THX good, where it just goes? It's just like a silver THX. And oh, it just the goes, THX. I know what you're talking about. It gets I think real. It's just called loud. THX. Yeah, they're yeah, the worst, dude. I don't even know what they do. I fuck with them though. It's just sound. They have like Lord of the Rings. THX made Lord of the Rings. They didn't I make it. They have like it's just sound. Oh, they made the sound yeah, for yeah, it. They do the sound design. I guess that's why they do the loud sound at the beginning. That makes the most sense now. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, yeah, look at our sound right quick. <laughs> like, like y'all fucking with us. What's like, the yeah. worst <laughs> sound imaginable to listen to in a movie theater? In a mo- crying right, baby. It really does. It, <laughs> it tests your system. Like, oh, I thought you were saying like an actual question. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was like the boardroom. Like a THX. Twitter poll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, what would make people shit their pants? <laughs> what would reverberate your spine <laughs> with the amount of bass? <laughs> Not, I haven't. That's the first time. Okay, so DreamWorks is one where he's sitting on the crescent moon, right? Yeah, and, and he's, he's like, okay. Yeah. And Pixar is the lamp. Yeah, Pixar is the lamp. <laughs> then Disney is the castle. Mm-hmm. <sighs> then what else? Wow, there's uh, 20th there's Century Fox. 20th Century Fox with the, the yes. Yeah, the, the spotlights. Dun, 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 dun. That's not the song. How's the song go? I don't know. That's not it either. Where are all these songs coming from? I don't know, man. Maybe you're making them up right now. Repertoire of songs. (laughs) I'm just like going through every classical thing I can think of. Disney? What are you trying to think? Like the no, the 20th Century Fox one. That's not the one with the lion, though, right? Lion is Looney Tunes. uh, Lionsgate. No, that's yeah. Warner Brothers. It's War- oh, Warner. Is it, is is it, it Warner no, Brothers? No, it's Lionsgate. Yeah. Warner Brothers sure was with like, like all, all the storage. Or something? What's the Warner Brothers one? It's with all the storage, like like houses, and they kind of go like 
like that. Yeah, it's kind of like the studio lot. Yeah, it's all like the all studio the lots, and then it turns into like Warner Brothers. Like it's like before like every like Marvel movie. Oh yeah, I you thought that was just about? wow. I thought that was just for like Spider Man and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't Spider Man though. It was no, okay. it was the like, OG Spider Man. They had it right? in front of. Uh, they had it in front of like the Harry Potter movies. They had it in front of. I've only watched one Harry Potter movie. This is like the one that you <laughs> said that I'm just like, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. <laughs> <laughs> My mind is Harry fucking Potter, blown. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch some movies or something. <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, I, we should. I guess we'll start live from the studio. Ooh, I'm Jimmy Seleski. Eric Glazer. Gustavo Mourinho. Ooh man, okay. that was <laughs> that was perfect. That was perfect. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna actually try to take a crack at your name. I couldn't decide if it was like Mourinho because you got that H. It's Mourinho, yeah. Mourinho, yeah. Is that Brazilian or Portuguese? Brazilian, or something? Yeah. Brazilian yeah. Are you originally from that, Brazil? That explains. Uh, my the parents trip. are. Yeah, that yeah. explains the trip. You went to Brazil. I did in 2014, and then I went earlier when I was like a kid. It's like I have family there. Cool. So yeah. Did you, you missed just out on a Logic show though? Oh, Bra- Logic played in Brazil. No, 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 no. I missed one. Oh, oh, I was about to say. I was like, in that case, you fucking made it, made it dude. Fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking that'd, did it up. Thought it worked out. <laughs> he was going through Brazil. That'd be crazy. There. I'd be like, be bet. Sick. How old are you, so. dude? Uh, 18. I turned 19. Oh, you're only 18? August 14th. Yeah. So are you Are you still in high school? No, I'm actually, uh, I finished my first year of college this year. Where are you going? I'm still at MC right now, Montgomery College. My God. Are you taking, like are you thought. taking photography classes there? No, I'm doing business actually. Nice. He already knows photography, dude. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah, it's better to like, how to start uh, a business out of it. Yeah. It's better to do photography just on your own because like uh, doing photography classes is kind of like a waste of money. Yeah, I would imagine so. Yeah. But the business, you got like a good like, I don't know what, what the fuck you're doing, but like, holy shit, you're 18 years old and you got like your Instagram is popping off. Thank you. Uh, Facebook, you know, you got some solid profile pictures. Uh, Go around it, photograph all these dope shows. Yeah, it's crazy. How are you, how long have you been doing it? Uh, I think almost two years professionally, but like five years or six years, like as like something I like to do, just like photography in general. Did you take the classes in high school t- or any? Yeah, or you so just I took I took classes in high school, but like I was shooting before I took any classes. Like I just want to like go like more into like photography and learn more. But like the classes basically taught me like uh, like editing mostly, rather than just shooting. Most of the stuff I learned, like shooting, was like outside of the classroom. Where did you get the equipment? You just that was just like what you invested your money in and stuff. Uh, the equipment I have now, yes. The equipment before it was like uh, my dad's, like he had like an old Canon Rebel, uh-huh. and like uh, I just used that. And then like before that, I just used my phone. Like I used my phone for the longest time. Did your dad like do that stuff too, or uh, no? He just like happened to have like a pretty decent camera. I just can't imagine, like, I guess how... Cause I, remember, I remember I used to try to take pictures when I was a kid, and I fucking sucked at it. <laughs> but, like, I can't even imagine, like, just discovering that that's what you want to do at such a young age. That's, that's, uh, you, you must have been, like, you would have been, like, 12, 13 at that point or something like that. Yeah, it was, in, it was basically, like, how the trip in Brazil I was talking about. Mm-hmm. So that's when, like, I kind of started. Mm-hmm. Because, like, Instagram was popping at the time. And like it was like when it first like started oh, yeah. getting popular, Damn. and it it's was just full of you're like, on like travel video shit before that even yeah. happened. That's crazy. It was like full of like photographers at the time, like instead of like family pictures and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I got inspired from, from that, and I happened to be in like a beautiful like area of the world. So I just started taking like a bunch of pictures, and like when I came back, I just continued. So and then off of that, just like started like trying to figure out where to like go from there. That's sick. But yeah. Have you been to any other places to take photos like that or no? Like uh, out of the country? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, but um, I'm going with Juice Bruns and uh, yeah. Jet Bailey to Canada yeah. next week. I heard about that, that's dude. That's so dope. Yeah, dude. that's going to be sick. We had... Drinking age in Canada is 18. Yeah. yeah there you go. <laughs> that's what's up. <laughs> Shout out to Canada. <laughs> the six. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that the day. I was, like, I was like, my brother told me you were young and I was like, fuck, I'm just going to film this kid drinking. And they're just going to come after me, but who cares? I don't think anybody <laughs> Nobody, <laughs> nobody so. watches this show, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Censor it out. It's apple cider. 
I work in video. <laughs> I'll put a blur on it. All right, but my, <laughs> we had we had Juice and the guys that uh, Thunder Club. You were at the oh, show. Thunder I, Club I, is sick. They are sick. Yeah. I saw you at the show, and I I because I had Instagram messaged you before that because we had Juice on here with uh, John Burkhardt, the drummer of Thumber, Thunder uh-huh. Club, who also does like the background yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. for Juice and. Yeah, uh, I think they're going up too, right? Yeah, they're going up. They're doing are they really? Show. Yeah, Juice and Jet are going to the show. Oh and yeah, they are. Yeah, Thunder you're right. Club is going to back up Juice. Back up the band. And, yeah. Which is fucking dope. But uh, they were talking about, Juice was saying something about you. We were talking and he was like, yeah, like he just like captured the moment. It was like, it was like when I saw the shots he sent me, it was like, he literally just like captured the moment so beautifully. And I was like, he said that. I was like, I'm definitely going to hit this kid up, dude. That was like, that was like one of the most solid compliments ever dropped, dude. Yeah, that was crazy. He told me that too. And I was like, wow, thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, but I was saying, I saw you at the show and that was, and then you were rock, rocking around with like a, a soccer shirt. And I was like, this kid's oh, got to yeah, be yeah. Brazilian. Yeah, dude, you know? you're, you're fucking working that floor. Yeah, I, I run around a lot. Hell yeah. Dude, I was trying to get some shit, but I would like, don't have a flash for my camera uh-huh. and like i was just trying to do video stuff yeah the anyway. auto bar like their lights are kind of trash so yeah, i have to use yeah. like flash for most of it yeah 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 uh, but that's how it'd be like sometimes in like smaller venues what sort of uh lenses do you use uh my lens is a 24 to 70 f 2.8 like l lens like canon yeah yeah then like my body is a 5d mark 3 okay dope. so yeah is it's that like how you got dope combination I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I have, I'm, I'm going to take your word on that, dude. <laughs> you have, uh, it sounded dog. good. A lot Do you have of Magic numbers. Lantern on it or no? Magic Lantern? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. What's Magic Lantern? That like, um, It's like a custom firmware for the 5D Mark III. It's like mainly for like video stuff. Oh, yeah, I've like, heard of it. Yeah, you can like get like 4K really? like, video out of it now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was doing an internship, actually, uh, my senior year of high school. At like a CrossFit gym. I don't know if you know what CrossFit is. Yeah. Yeah. So um, basically the guy that was uh, there, Ty Randall, he's like a big like CrossFit photographer and he does like he goes around the country like shooting CrossFit. So I like basically went under his wing and like he taught me like basically everything. Like oh, dude, that's or a sweet. lot of stuff I know. What were like your first like jobs? Because you said you started doing it professionally two years ago, right? Yeah. So you were you would have been like 16. And what were like the first like how, how do you even get a gig like that like what'd you do so uh i started out actually like i basically a year before i started doing it professionally i did a lot of research Uh on especially like concert photography Mm -hmm. so once i like i knew how like it kind of worked i did i started like emailing a bunch of people to like uh shoot their shows or whatnot i actually shot up seleski yeah yeah yeah. uh, (laughs) before like i was like taking pictures for anybody and, and uh that's, we met up like way later at like a yeah 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 my brother told me all of that yeah it was, was crazy wondering. so that's that's pretty much like you started going to these you just started going to yeah it's sh- local shows so basically I shot my first show was here in Baltimore uh huh it was at uh I forgot it was like at a at a bar mm-hmm. and uh Brain Rap and Nature Boy were there Malik Farood uh, Asian Savior DK holy the shit Malik a lot Malik, of Malik I, I don't know if Farad. it's Farad or Farad he went like to, that, he went yeah. to our high school really. Yeah, he was. Um, he's he's nice. live on like the like, street you grew up on. Yeah, yeah, he was two years older than me. He used to play for LTRC football too, or maybe one year older. And uh, yeah, one time I mowed his lawn. Really? <laughs> yeah, I was like thirteen. <laughs> no, I might have been. Actually, I was probably embarrassing. I was probably like I was probably like your age when I was still mowing lawns and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was good money, but he was. It wasn't. Yeah, good he's money nice. At all. I just I, didn't I need money. I was living with my parents, so it didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> But damn, I didn't know how, and that was, you said that was how long ago? Two years? That was that your was first like, show? Yeah, that was in like December 2015, 14. No, 15, I think. Yeah, my brother said you hit him up like a while ago. Yeah, And at the time, time yeah. he already had a photographer or something like that. Yeah, he had, he had like one a of friend his, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, one of his boys like did photography. And then he was, so he like said like, sorry, I got somebody. And then like he said he like checked back like months later and your shit was just popping off. And he was like, <laughs> Damn, what the fuck? <laughs> like his friend just like quit photography. Yeah, it was crazy because like um I don't know, do you guys know Khan? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So I was shooting for Khan like when he lived here. Dope. And like uh I was shooting at a, a show here in Baltimore as well, mm-hmm. at like the eight by ten. And then uh Jet was there. So okay. that's how I met Jet. And then like we had a show or he invited me to go shoot a show or hired me to shoot a show over at um the uh the f- where is it Howard Theater? Yeah, for Felly, uh-huh. and then, like Juice and whatnot were there as well, and uh-huh. then Seleski was there, yeah. and then like I was like, oh shit, I know this guy from somewhere, and I was like, oh fuck, I 
I asked him to shoot him like a while ago, and he recognized me too. And he was like, "Oh fuck, <laughs> that's a coming together. That's a serious that's moment." And yeah, it was history, crazy. Dude. Like we Holy all like uh, were in one room too, mm. because uh, there was something like going on with like the Howard Theater or whatever. They all put like the openers in like one room, mm. so it was like wild. Jet's another dude that like just really like he just. I mean, I'm He's assuming cool I'm assuming that. And I don't even know yet because I was that's what I was going to ask. I'm assuming that the a lot of the social media success you seem to have, would you say that that's any anything due to the marketing skills you've applied from like business classes? Or do you just think that like your product is just standing out to people and it's just starting to catch? I think uh, it's just kind of like standing out, really, and as well like um, usually like how I don't really like so kind of like how the marketing goes is like kind of like self-explanatory like i'll send my like pictures over to like the artist or whatever and then they'll put my name on the the picture right so from there people like go and like go on the my profile and then see my stuff and then like from then on it's just like builds up from that so that's how it kind of wow. like started like rolling up i didn't even think about that so, so it's really, is really just, important. yeah you're just putting, <laughs> you're just getting the credit for what you're doing for people and then more people flock to exactly. it that's serious dude I, I, would you say that this is something that, like, you know, are you? I would assume that you're probably thinking. Do you have a? Do you have like a place that you work right now? Like, like a job, just like a regular ass job? Not, not right now. Hey. I'm just like kind of like chilling, dude. I when I was your age, I was doing the same shit. But would you say that you think that you could get this thing going enough that like you wouldn't have to have one of those jobs? I mean, hopefully that's like the plan. I mean, Maybe I'm talking like. like you said you're what just got out of your freshman year of college? Yeah. Oh, damn. You said you're turning 19 this month? Yeah, 19 August in August. I mean, I, I've seen some of the people. I mean, there were pictures of like, I was like wondering. I was like, I saw some of the photos. Like, I saw the one of Chance, and I was like, was he hired to do this? Oh, no, or were you oh, just at the show? That was crazy. Uh, I actually shoot for a blog, DJ Booth. Okay. I don't know if oh, you guys shit. know. Yeah. Tight. So they're kind of like my plug for uh, other like bigger artists mm -hmm. so I can get it for my portfolio and like then I send off pictures to them. So it's like kind of like a beneficial thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, my first concert for them was uh, Logic. It was like a the Summer Fest or Summer Endless Summer Tour. Uh -huh. It was Logic, g -Eazy, YG, Yo Gotti. It was, it was crazy. Like that was my first show. They got me into like a bunch of other shows and they got me into the Chance show. Which I like, I didn't think I was gonna get because sometimes like shit doesn't like work out mm. for so most got, like, like a, big you artists. Got a photo pass, like you yeah, the, photo pass. So, so like, how did you like, get right in involved with so DJ tight. Booth? So uh, that's also I emailed like like hella blogs, like probably like 20, 20 blogs, mm -hmm. trying to get like uh, like that kind of like partnership going. Yeah, but then um, I waited a while. Like I got like maybe like one or two replies. And like, uh, but those didn't work out. And then later on, like, I found like DJ Booth, and like I hit them up, and they like they were like instant. They're like really like uh, professional about it, and like uh, yeah. helped me out. So it was it was wild. Jesus Christ, that's insane. That's like I'm listening to this. I'm like Jesus Christ, got it figured the fuck out. Thanks. Yeah, dude, to be 18 <laughs> and already like thinking of shit like oh like. I could just I'll just hit up these blogs and be like, oh, I can take pictures for you. I like wouldn't have even thought about. Dude, that most people 18. when they're eighteen, they haven't even really even put applied any thought to what they want to do yet. Yeah. I mean, it's like it's like just even the fact that like I don't know that you're doing something at your age is just like, dude. I know people. My I'm twenty. I'll be twenty five next month, mm -hmm. and I still know people that just aren't doing shit. Yeah, and it's it's, uh, it's hard to like know what you want to do, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm just like you know blessed with like it is kind of a blessing. Like, it really yeah, is to know what I want to do. I mean, did you? Was it kind of like did you like note that when you started taking pictures? Because they'd always talk about like I don't know. I feel like for a lot of people, it's kind of uh, hard to understand. You know, to the I don't want to say ignorant because I don't think it sounds kind of like mean. Mm -hmm. But like to the person who isn't aware of everything that goes into certain things, like you know, like you, you realize that when you listen to music and stuff, you listen to a song, and it's not until you actually try to produce and write and make a song that you realize how fucking how hard, hard it you, is. You don't even yeah. notice. It's like certain shit, like when you're listening to a song, and like you can just tell if it was made by like someone local versus someone professional, just yeah. the way it's mixed and all the other things, and like people. You really can't put a finger as to why, but you just have a sense for like, wow, this is that, and this is yeah, people. I guess really, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, people can look. People will listen to music. People will look at pictures, like I was saying, and and not even 
understand that like no you're like the average fucking person could not just go out there with a camera and capture what he captured yeah because i know a lot of people when i was younger i would just be like the fuck so hard about photography you <laughs> fuck point and click dude like just like stupid yeah, a lot you of know? people like are like that yeah but i mean did you like that but there's like uh i just i finally watched a movie get out mm-hmm. which uh-huh. was uh sick and they it was good it was a good movie it was yeah good it's movie. really good um and they had the guy was a photographer the lead guy uh-huh and the guy who like I don't want to spoil anything. No, actually, I'm not going to spoil anything. But the uh, guy who wanted to buy his eyeballs or uh, <laughs> the picture spoiler. Of the eyeballs or <laughs> oh yeah, 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 Eric, spoiler Glazer, whatever. The guy who wanted to yeah, the guy who wanted to buy his eyeballs uh, wanted the eye, what he called the eye, the uh, of yeah, a photographer. Yeah. yeah, which or, is yeah, yeah. so how much how much of uh, this is just I'm just thinking about this. When you're pointing the camera, how much of what you capture is due to your technical skill versus how much is due to like what you're seeing? I, I, I don't know how to phrase this question. I kind of understand th- what you're saying. You though. know what I'm saying? Is, it, is the picture good because you captured the perfect moment or is the picture good because you're just really good at working with a camera? I think uh, you can be like amazing with like technical skills and stuff but if you don't have like the eye for like capturing certain moments and stuff like that you're not going to be able to like get stuff that uh like other photographers get if you know what i mean mm-hmm. so I know it's exactly. like yeah yeah cuz most people aren't thinking about like comp- i don't know like when you're ta- and yeah all like that, yeah. yeah you're not like that's thinking kinda about that's kind of like that. uh it's kind of like automatic to me. Yeah, you're just like, point. oh, yeah. this looks so dope. Click. Yeah. <laughs> and so a lot of I would assume I would imagine that a lot of like the what was I going to say? I guess a lot of it comes from like you have to be in the moment to a certain degree. Like I yeah. guess people see these like press and that like especially with like wedding photographers and stuff, it's like you see them running around and they just really don't give a shit and they're just like I mean, I guess to be a good photographer, you actually have to kind of like make yourself a part yeah, you kind of have to like yeah. be in the moment and also kind of disappear in a way. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. To make like people comfortable with you being there, mm-hmm. or also like kind of stiffen up or like try to like act in a way to, yeah, uh, to yeah, make yeah, you take yeah, pictures. Yeah, yeah. You kind of have yeah. to like blend in or kind of like dissolve into the crowd or, or whatnot. Which makes sense because I, I mean, you seem to be like a big like I guess music fan. Yeah, it seems I love like you definitely. Yeah, you're definitely way into it, more into it as a fan than I am for sure. Like like all over the boards, it's pretty dope. But like, is that your ideal? So like, I see, there are some like things, I, pictures I see on your Instagram that are like, a lot of it, most of it seems to be centered around like music. You know, yeah. there's not too much like wildlife and shit like that yeah, going yeah, yeah. on. I used to do a lot of like uh, landscape and stuff like that because I was still like, especially when I was in Brazil, like the, the places there that I went like were like beautiful. So like I, I was taking a lot of like nature type pictures. Mm-hmm. Then from then, like... Uh, I did some like street photography, which I think is like the hardest like form of like photography. What exactly is street photography? Street just photography is basically you go out like on the street and like you just pay, take pictures of, like people or like stuff like that, and it's like it's kind of like it's really hard. <laughs> it's like slice of life, but just like captured in like a picture or something. It sounds yeah. like a good way to practice that skill of like but, having yeah, the I eye shot a lot sure, of yeah. stuff like that, and then uh, I was really into like photo for, like photojournalism. Mm-hmm. And like uh, I fucked with that like a, a little bit. I shot like a protest uh, earlier this year, like a Black Lives Matter protest, mm-hmm. and like uh, it got picked up from like Visco, and like Visco po- like reposted oh, a shit. bunch of my yeah, shit, yeah. and then like they posted one of them on like uh, on their Instagram too. They got like a, like twenty three thousand like likes. It was like insane. Yeah, they tag you. And they that? toss you yeah, that credit. Yeah. Oh, oh, big slime. Yeah, like Visco is huge. I think. Uh, our buddy Mahin Fayez that we went to high school with, he like went back to the Maldives after he graduated. But like he was always into photography. I think he's been featured on Visco too. Oh, that's Mahin, crazy! He's like he's another he just one takes like good. crazy yeah. f- pictures from like resorts in like the Maldives or like just the cities there. Like, and he was doing nuts. that shit too. He was doing that shit when we graduated high school. He was already involved with that. I remember he's been doing that for a long time. He's that's gotten awesome. really fucking good. He's, you said he does stuff for Visco? Or he had like a, a like picture featured on there. Yeah, That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's crazy. It just makes it sound, I, I mean, just looking at it, it looks like, I mean, it looks like a lot of it's kind of like based in like hip hop culture and stuff like yeah, that, yeah. which makes sense due to your musical taste and stuff yeah. like that. It's kind of cool because like it's almost like even though you're not necessarily a musician, you're, I still consider you as like 
in a way like kind of part of that like crew like, yeah you know, know or, you like yeah, like with, culture with and, and whatnot. It, it's just like it's cool because everybody plays a part you know yeah. Yeah. it's like that's I, that's I, what you do i'm glad you brought up that you were gonna go to canada with them because mm-hmm. i was like i feel like he should like if he's not that'd be, i don't wanna, like bring it <laughs> up in weird, case right? he's like nah yeah they got a photographer out in canada <laughs> yeah I'm it's just asshole. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. heard some canadian guy <laughs> fuck them dude <laughs> like, why'd i bring it up why'd i bring it up <laughs> No, it's 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 dope. It's just like a group of like just dudes from Maryland who are all doing their. Th- that's why I think another thing that I'll, I'll shout out with to Jet about um, is he's just good at putting a team together. Yeah, you he know, is. he's just very good at like looking at what people, what value people can offer to a situation or a team, and just like incorporating that in a very perfect way. He's got, he's got like he's such a he's got like a good manager mindset. Yeah, he which is. is crazy because he's he also mindset. got such a good art. Artistic mindset, you know, yeah. mm-hmm. it's uh, it's sweet, dude. I, I, I like the the crew starting to build up, and I'm like watching it happen, obviously. Um, mm-hmm. and it's sick, dude. It's like yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's kind of insp- It's like inspiring in a way. Uh, and I'm not. I say that like, uh, like a someone who's like 30 years older than you, but just someone who's just like a couple years older. You know, I just I'm looking at it, and I'm just like, it's it's cool to see that like things are starting to people are starting to make moves around here. You know, yeah. and it's just it's just it's just cool to watch. Yeah, the DMV is like really like popping right now, especially for like the hip hop like uh scene. Especially mm-hmm. with like Shy Glizzy, like Will the Rapper, uh Gold Link, all of them are like killing it right yeah. now. And and then and Logic, another yeah, one. Logic I mean, killing Jesus. It. Like just people and uh that that uh dude Take Co Bang and then fucking um Yeah, a bunch of like artists are like really like coming out. Laura Scooter could have been something, man. That's a shame. Yeah. He he really could have been something. Isn't that uh, like YCN Lucci? Isn't he from around here? I'm not. Hip. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. He had that. Um, he had like a really big song, but then I saw like a recent music video was shot in the harbor, and I was like, Oh, that's fuck. That's dope. Uh, oh, I thought you meant shot. Like he was like. No, 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 no. <laughs> he had like a music video shot. Oh, okay, in that's the cool. Yeah, that would have sucked. Yeah, I was like, wow, that that sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was blown up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you meant shot too, to be honest. Yeah, I, I didn't want to like, say damn. anything. Because nah. I thought people would be like, Jim, where is your mind at? It's <laughs> 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 your mind out of the gutter. Uh, shit. Well, whatever. Sorry, dude. I like, you, if you like, I don't know, I'm sure you do the same thing, but like, my boss like is so nonchalant with like video terminology and mm-hmm. stuff. And like, we were traveling, we're in the airport, and he was like, yeah, we're going to go to the shoot, like, yeah, let's I, just I, shoot I talk this like place. that let's too. Shoot, yeah. Let's shoot, let's shoot. And then it's like, yo, we're like in the TSA security line. Stop <laughs> saying shoot, dude. Like <laughs> <laughs> Actually, one of my questions on the notepad that I wrote down when I first wrote it was how who's the most famous person that you've shot? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. think about it. I was like, that sounds pretty dope, actually. But I think it's uh it has to be Chance the Rapper. I exactly. was gonna say, I was gonna 100%. say, but you got some, dude. You got some solid. I mean, did you get to uh, meet yeah, him at all? Or up like, there, nah. you know? uh, usually, so how it works is uh, when you get your photo pass, you get three songs to shoot. So you get the first three songs, and then after that, you go back into the crowd or whatever. You can stay or you can like you can. But leave. you can't pull out a camera. No. Ooh. The thing is, for the Chance concert though, uh, me and this other photographer kind of like snuck back in through the back. That's how you and do then it. we still had like our cameras and whatnot, and like I got some like pictures from like the crowd and and, and shit like that. But like uh, I didn't try to like push my way through. Mm-hmm. Did any of those pictures wind up getting featured on DJ Booth? The uh, which ones? The Chance the Rapper. Ones? Yeah, the ones you took from. Because I don't know if like oh, I guess. Yeah, but yeah. do they send just a bunch of people out there and just see who gets the best shot? Something no, like that. No, I'm like I'm pretty sure I'm the only one from like the DMV that shoots. Oh, for so DJ you're booth. exclusive with them? Yeah. Oh. I know they have other photographers though, like in other areas of like the the US. That's sick though. Yeah, DJ Booth's a big site. Yeah, I fuck with them. They're they're nice. They're dope. I like I feel like I don't know. After like uh twenty twelve or twenty thirteen, have you do you ever go on like two dope boys or anything? I, I'm I'm hip to them though. Yeah, I'm hip to like they used to be the fucking site, but now they've just like fell off so big. Yeah. The dope boys, two, two dope, dope boys. boys, yeah, two dope boys. Well, I hit like, them up too. Ever since like Tyler when the Creator stopped it, yeah. fucking with them, dude, <laughs> I think that was their big downfall. Was it especially like a, for me? Was it like a feud type thing, or he just stopped? 
Because I'm not hip either. He was like, uh, I think he was trying to send them music to put on their site, and oh. they just weren't fucking with him. So Yeesh. then, like, he started off a mixtape by just being, fuck two dope boys. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, nah, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a big fuck up. I'm like, Tyler yeah. the Creator is huge. Yeah, dude. I would love to shoot Tyler the Creator. That would dude, be crazy. Sure. That'd be wild. I don't listen to his music, but, like, I fuck with him. Like, Yeah, just as a person. Yeah, like, as, as a, a person, person, I yeah. fuck with him. That was, some, just... that was someone like Logic for you. But like for me, where I was like hip to them early on, yeah. And like, dude, I went to the like first concert really? in Baltimore. It was fucking insane. It must have been. They're it fucking wild. Nuts. They're crazy. Dude, I like. I was hanging out with like Jasper for a little bit. In really the crowd, and then we went over to the merch table, and then they're all like cool in there, dude. We we're just chilling there for a second, and then two girls came up and were like, "Let's, can we get a picture with you?" And he was like. You know the rules, and then they came over and they both flashed their tits, <laughs> and then the fucking dude took a photo. <laughs> that is <laughs> baller. That's crazy. That I knew they were wild, dope. but I wasn't hip to that. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That Yo, that would be Great sick night. to do. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what their reason is. You know, it's for something, and Copyright there's shit, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, on Facebook, you can do it. Play a video and scroll down the window, like pop over still the play, corner. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I, I can't think of anything beneficial that YouTube gets out of not having their videos available when you close out of the tab, dude. I think that's stupid as fuck. <laughs> like, there's no like ups. No, What's the sucks. upside to that? No, it sucks too. On what? the mobile version, you can't like at least for my phone. If you're like listening to music on YouTube, yeah, you, can't you can't turn your out. like screen off. Yeah. And that, or unless it'll like. What you got to do is go on Safari, go on YouTube, then play the song that you want, and then oh. uh, once you get out, it will stop. But you just swipe up right, and then just play it. Okay. And then it will play for you. Is this on? Does this work on all uh, phone systems or just iPhone? I iPhone? think so. I mean, it's I whatever internet, working. whatever you have. But okay. like, it's as long as it's not the YouTube app, because the YouTube app doesn't want you listening to music on it. Shit. Okay, I've been bamboozled this whole time. Yeah. YouTube's too fucking stringent with their rules. So I don't like it. Yeah, it used to be able to, but like uh, they took it away. I guess. Well, they have like a new app, like YouTube Music, but I think you have to pay a subscription. What's too, YouTube really? Red? What is that? That's about? That's like movies and shit by like YouTubers. And I yeah. think you can rent actual movies off of that too. But yeah, it's like mainly like Netflix original series, but but made by, by YouTubers. YouTubers. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know who's popping up. Scott used to be good about that, like when, because he would always just show me like random videos. But my fucking YouTube feed is so like, I mean, it's mine's like all interviews now. Yeah, it's so catered to like what you look like at that like sometimes I just sign out and go to the homepage just to see like what the just rest of the what's world, what's the most on, popular yeah. shit yeah. in the rest. I'll just sure look at it and I'll like look at all these videos and they got like great looking thumbnails, but like the titles is like, what do you think? It's just like the stupidest shit you yeah, could ever imagine. I'm just like, I'm going back to my fucking <laughs> account and watching interviews. I used to watch interviews. hella YouTube. <laughs> I used to watch a lot of Call of Duty like commentaries and shit like that. Did you really? Did I used really? to be super into that. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, That's I, like, a podcast, like Modern though. Warfare 2 days. Like that was what's up. I was never super. Dom, Dom used to play video games and he would always watch like fucking just like playthroughs and shit. And I could yeah. never understand. I would be like, why? Yeah, I used to watch a lot this? of that, like a lot. I spend uh, hours yeah. watching. I can't even tell. I fucking half like of my I, fucking... I play a lot. <laughs> Do you still play to this day? Yeah, not as much as before, but still like a good amount. Depends like on the day when I have like free time, like I'll like play a couple hours. It's weird because like I feel like... It, I, I don't play video games because I'm just thinking in my head, I'm like, God, that's got to be such a waste of time. But like most of the shit I do other than play video games is a waste of time. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, it's I like the same dilemma now because I'll waste time <laughs> and then I'll also play video games. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's like, it's nice to do like, uh, like play online with like friends and shit. It's but just that's, like, that's a, what's up. yeah, yeah. And you're still at the age where like hanging out with friends is still a thing, uh -huh. which is, uh, it's crazy to think that it ever becomes not a thing. <laughs> Because it really does. It like actually like when you get to like 22, 23, everybody just starts getting like their own like their jobs, life and their shit. Life and shit yeah. It's just like you don't you don't know. It's it was just it's like a gradual thing. Like when I was like 18, 19, 20, even 21, we still like all like we went out to the bars together and shit like that uh -huh. and like all did shit. And then like 22, 23, people start graduating college and like uh, this guy's moving to Fed Hill. This guy's moving to College Park. This guy's doing it. It was just like it's just wild, dude. Yeah, everybody's spreading apart. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess in that case, video games would play a bit. I guess because I, I always, you know, why I never got into video games because I always played uh, the Nintendo products. Which, when Nintendo sixty four came out in nineteen ninety six, I was four years old. Mm-hmm. When I was five for Christmas, my grandparents got me a Nintendo sixty four, and the first game was WrestleMania, something like that. Really? Just like that was my first oh, console yeah. too. Nintendo 64. Yep. Dude, uh, I had it, a neighbor gave it to me like as a gift. And like I guess like the first game I had like Super Smash Your Bros. neighbor gave you that? Yeah. 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 yeah, that's a good fucking neighbor. Yeah, I good fuck neighbor. with that neighbor. Holy <laughs> shout out to that <laughs> neighbor. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a yeah, big Yeah, he gave me a Nintendo 64 and like a bunch of games. And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. Damn, your neighbor Dude, was fucking sick. balling. <laughs> yeah. Fucking own. Holy shit. <laughs> when that shit came out, that. He was like Ni- an older dude. Nintendo 64 changed the fucking game. In terms of graphics and just gameplay and stuff like that. And then I just like stuck with Nintendo and I got the fucking GameCube, which was fucking whack. Nah, no after online, Nintendo dude. after the N sixty four, I said fuck Nintendo. I went to PlayStation, like the PS two, because like all my friends had that shit. And then like uh, I had a bunch of games for PS two. Like I used to play like Hella Tony Hawk, mm-hmm. like uh, some Call of Duty and uh, Medal of Honor, shit like oh, that. Yeah. And then uh, after that, I moved on to Xbox because I wanted Halo. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I've just Xbox stuck with Xbox since then. Xbox 360 was really, then. like, the console for, like, I think for, like, our high school. That was, like, we had, like, a giant snowstorm senior year of high uh-huh. school. So, we're, like, we were off for two weeks straight. Mm. And every day, everyone just Xbox. got on Xbox and played that's, Modern that, Warfare 2. That's what's up. And, like, when we just did those, like, glitched private matches. Oh, and, yeah, like, yeah, Rust boost. Like, yeah. Yeah. And we just, like, do the, like, unlimited ammo and then have AC-130s just, like, rain down on everyone. It was so much fun. And that was 360? That was on 360. Yeah, 360. Yeah. What's Xbox up to now? Is it the One or what? Yeah, Xbox One now. Okay. Yeah, dude, Xbox came out of nowhere, kind of, because, like, it was like for the longest time in the nineties, it was like Nintendo and PlayStation yeah. and well, Sega. Xbox is Microsoft. Yeah, it's Microsoft, Microsoft was just like they came out Let's with make a, a console. Yeah, they're like fuck it. <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, I just found that out right fucking now. Does really? everybody really? know that? Yeah, yeah. everybody Microsoft, knows Xbox, Xbox is Microsoft. Yeah, and then like Microsoft, I was the was last like, person uh, on Earth Halo to find too. that out. Dude, oh no, <laughs> that's funny. As oh fuck. no, I'm so far fucking behind. <laughs> Way behind. <laughs> Literally, like the global Dude, ticker is like six billion nine hundred ninety nine. The original <laughs> Xbox came out in like two thousand two. Yeah, breaks ago. <laughs> Just waiting for it. Bill Gates <laughs> actually introduced it. Like, dude, no lie. I, dude, I was fucking <laughs> 10 years old in 92. I wasn't watching fucking Bill Gates' ass. But dude. you weren't going to Toys R Us being like, yo, I want to get a console. And they're out of PS2s. Dog, this is the that's day that trying, my mom's like, all right, let's go get you a console. That's what I'm trying to so tell you. My family Xbox. had, like, my mom's side of the family had, like, some, like, stupid ass loyalty to Nintendo. And it just kept getting fucking worse. Like, the GameCube became. Went, uh, what GameCube, came next? The Wii. Wii. The Wii, what the, the Wii fuck? was good for like maybe two days. Yeah, like you'd box a little bit, you'd play some cool golf because like you could get it because it was like sold yeah. out everywhere. So then you're like, yo, I gotta get a yeah, Wii. This shit must be dope. Like and I have a Wii. a Wii, it just sits there in my living That's room. That's what I'm saying. It's no like, what's the fuck? It. Like I don't want to. If I'm playing a video game, I do not want to have to like do the shit I'm doing in a video game. You know, I just want to sit. It's there. The thought that counts. Exactly. I just want to sit there. I don't want to have to like actually like I don't know. Like Zelda, I don't want to actually have to fuck. Ah, ah. That's stupid. I man. guess like uh, Xbox and PlayStation moved into that too with like the Connect and like what PlayStation Move or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's it a, was such like a fad though because now like no nobody it's really. It's kind of getting. I guess Connect is cool though. with like VR. VR is like, cool. I fuck with VR. Stuff. VR is dope and like it's kind of bringing back like the Move thing because like yeah. PlayStation has like the headset now or whatever, but. I don't know, man. There's I still like, like uh, a, playing normally, to be yeah, honest. Exactly. I do just, wonder. Like, sitting down, relax, and just like. There has to just be something like that's like a VR headset that you just fucking get knocked out. <laughs> and then you're just like, it hooks up to your nervous system. So you're, you're moving <sighs> There is around, this one video, not. actually. That's the Matrix. That's <laughs> yeah. literally the fucking Matrix, dude. Once that shit happens and it's not that far off, like I saw this video with like this dude who recreated Super Mario. Uh, the first level, mm-hmm. but like he recreated it so that it was on a VR set, so you could actually just walk down the street and like actually play actually the game. Play, yeah. That's crazy, dude. Once they make that like not to be a headset, but just like maybe a pair of sunglasses. Dude, or something Apple's like that. doing that, dude. They're we're just gonna they're be doing living it with the iPad. Like in the next twenty years, we we could just be living or in just this world where everybody's just in their own fucking world. Yeah, 
walking around. Just, you know, just, I, I mean, because it's going to start with video games, like the video game. I feel like that's where a lot of the, the new age technology kind of starts because, like, that music video that uh, Bjork filmed where it was, like, this was released a while ago, but like you, you basically it was like a 360 film video, and so you could actually like shift the angle. That you yeah, could like control about, yeah. what you were, and that was that kind of started. I imagine from like video game technology where they had like the Probably. first. Yeah, pr- I would imagine. I don't know. I feel like I read it somewhere that it did, where I might have just fucking thought it, thought it in my head. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like that. Like once that shit gets brought to that level, we're like, okay, now we can do this. It's just like. It's only a matter of fucking time till we're just yeah, walking actually, around. Yeah, actually, like Apple and shit, like they're doing the. Uh, it's like kind of like VR. Like you, you like use your iPhone, right? Like you'll point at like a table. Yeah, and, like, it's like can augmented have, like, something reality. On yeah, augmented yeah. reality. And they have like Minecraft on that shit, so like you can like go and like Minecraft, like walk around and and whatnot. Yeah. So that's kind of uh, wild. What did you say you can do? You can put something on the table and what happens? Yeah, so like basically you can look like through your phone and the yeah. camera, it like picks up the table and it'll like put have something down on like there. 3D trackers invisibly on the table. Like kind of like Snapchat. Like, can, like you know how like Snapchat has the uh, live Yu Gi Oh, dude. You could yeah. put a card down and then a fucking shit would pop out of it or whatever. And it wouldn't in real life, but it would on be your on phone, your screen. Yeah. You know? that, but I think that, that's like another thing too. I feel like what would probably happen in the far, far future is like augmented reality but without the need of the phone. And it's just That's like, what I'm trying to say, dude. That shit's gonna... And that's not that far off, dude. It would still off, be dude. in the studio but it would still be the garage and we just made it look <laughs> like this. Yeah, that'd this be crazy. real. We just all have microphones and plants it in Dude, I'm throats. telling you, that, that shit sounds like when you watch... I watch what was I watching? Black something? Oh, uh, Black, Black Mirror. Huh? Black Mirror. No, right. uh, it was a show that just came out. Something mirror, or yeah, something? Black, no, mirror. black mirror, yeah. You're black saying mirror. mayor, yeah. I say, I say, weird mirror, you say real weird, dude. You sound yeah, like mayor, really like weird, a female black horse, mirror. like a mayor. My friend goes on me all the time for <laughs> saying mayor like that. What accent is that? Is that pres- <laughs> not even? It's just like how I say it. Damn, dude, you got <laughs> that word town, fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I haven't fucked up. Someone taught it to me wrong. Like whoever, you got a long line of Mourinho's that are just fucking that word up. Damn. You guys got to work on that. But yeah, but, that uh, show, that British show. <laughs> yeah, it's Black Mirror. About. Black Mirror. Okay. They had this one episode where the guy was like in the future. I guess they're all in the future. Yeah. I don't fucking know. But it was like this black guy and he was uh, just living in, it was like 20, I think it was probably based like a couple hundred years in the future and everybody just fucking like went on their little bike or whatever. Uh-huh. And just, have you seen this episode? I've seen all the, yeah. All okay. The episodes you know, episodes. you know which one I'm talking about though, where he goes, like, everybody just, that's their job. Oh they fuck. Yeah. The yeah. They I know generate electricity. About, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude. And he was just in his house and like everything was like on his mirror and like he could just like tap and like do that. And then yeah, toothbrush yeah, yeah. would come out. Everybody, you would get like coins and shit yeah, for and your currency. Yeah, and it looks so futuristic, but in reality, it's like, that shit's not that far off. I hope that's like, not what happens though. They were like slaves. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I feel like. Some matrix shit. The whole, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I feel like that shit can't be good. Like people are so susceptible to just falling into like, this is my phone. <laughs> and just like that becomes yeah, their yeah, fucking yeah. life. And like imagine once you don't even have to fucking hold something anymore. Yeah, imagine Black Mirror just, has some like crazy like conceptual like shit on there. Mm-hmm. Like it's really cool. It is yeah, weird because like, like I, uh, you know, it's like Twilight. Yeah, it's like the yes, Twilight Zone. I was just going to say, for, uh, it's a uh, modern future. day Twilight yeah, Zone. That's, that's it all is. it is. And like Twilight Zone. if you look at some of the shit that, that Twilight Zone had on a crazy while ago, too, it was, yeah. and, but it wasn't that far off. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, that far. Sure. I'll tell you what show was far off. The Jetsons. They were way <laughs> off, dude. <laughs> off, dude. <laughs> they were way off. Way you off. know what year that show was based in? It was made in the 60s or something it wasn't like that. It was like 2000 something. It was, it was based in the year 2000, I yeah. think. I'm Isn't pretty sure crazy? it was like 2000 way something. Way off. I remember reading books in, in, like, uh, in elementary school where they would have like the, the, the futuristic books where they would like predict what's like coming up next. Yeah. It'd be like 2015 flying car. Like, mm-hmm. I tell you what's well, not far off though. What? Self-driving car. Self-driving car. That's is already like a thing. Basically true. a thing, yeah. And it's only a matter of time. Like everything starts off as like a thing, but no one has it. And then yeah. eventually it just becomes a thing. Like, they already have has. self-parking. So might as well just might go as well in. Do the other stuff. Too. I mean, dude, that's gonna, just still testing. That's going to, we're gonna be allowed to drink That's and drive crazy. at that point, dude. Yeah. I thought I don't know how long the laws are gonna be changed, but like when I'm fifty, I look I actually look forward to that. Like not having I remember Uber having anymore. to like to write for college, like you know how you have your college essays that uh-huh. you have to like go and up when you apply? Yeah. So one of the college essays are like, what would you do with like uh or how do you feel about like self driving vehicles or whatever? 
what I would think is like what you would do is like if you're a bar, right? Uh-huh. Just buy a bunch. So instead of like paying taxis to like drive people home, you would just have the self driving car. Sure. Ooh, so and like an airport really well. full yeah. of self driving cars. Exactly. And then you could, you know, program to come back pe- to the place. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. You should get Future. a bar, dude. You should get yeah. like a bar. That's a good idea. You should get an airport. <laughs> <laughs> Should get a train station, dude. <laughs> Self driving. I mean, that's holy cannoli, dude. Yeah, dude. That's way better. Than, I would have literally just said like, if they had self drive on oh, the college essay, I would just been like, yeah, it means I could drink and drive, right? <laughs> and the college would have been like, you are rejected, and I'd be like, fuck. Now they accept fuck. you real quick. Yeah, yeah like, like, oh, okay. drink and drive. Yeah, maybe West Progressive. Virginia University. <laughs> maybe they would have been about it. I don't know. Like, good like, thinking. That, that. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. <laughs> So you got the Toronto trip coming up soon. Yep. What uh? What's on the future for Gustavo picks? What's the uh, biggest move coming up? Biggest move. Right now it's just the Toronto thing. There's a bunch of concerts that I want to shoot, but like uh, I only know when I shoot them, like maybe two days before. So there's like a bunch of concerts coming up. So like I'm just like praying to like get in. I know Logic, like basically DJ Booth has like a plug for like Logic and like mm-hmm. the, the visionary music group, like group, like mm-hmm. Logic and John Bellion. So like I'm straight with those, but like, uh, I don't know. There's like Kendrick coming up. Like, uh, I don't know if I'll get into that, but like, uh, Khalid as well is coming up. I know, uh, SZA, S- SZA's coming up. So are August. you still, are you still like Gee. hitting these places up or, or at this I point hit you just DJ kinda- Booth up. Okay. For those bigger artists. Mm-hmm. But most of like I guess the smaller stuff, uh oh smaller you stuff. You said you hit I, DJ Booth up for the bigger yeah. artists. Yeah. But for most of the stuff you're just kinda doing it yourself. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm oh, trying damn. to move into like uh like fashion type of photography. Okay. Okay. So it's kind of like difficult, like maybe like in this area, but like uh, I'm still like yeah. trying to like I would imagine so. go in. Is that what you that. say that's like the ultimate thing you'd want to be doing? Like do, are you satisfied doing the shows that you're doing right now or you, you think fashion photography is like the ultimate? Uh, I think fashion photography is like another like it's just a, a plus to concert okay. photography. I would love to do concert photography like full time. Like I would love to look, like go on tour and shit like that. Yeah. But like having the photography like photography like fashion whatever background, you could do like magazine covers and shit like that. So like the fader like double XL and shit like yeah. that. So that would be amazing. Are you like into fashion yourself? Uh, it's not really. I want to try. I to mean, get like into it. you look like somewhat. You look like it's a solid you outfit. Look clean. You don't. Yeah, you look clean Thanks. cut. Like I'm looking at the other Reebok shirt. I don't know what brand. You got the cuffs, but you got some white shoes on. Yeah. and I don't see any specs on them. Man. Yeah, no specs. Yeah. No specs. A little bit. A little bit. Here, but, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Was, what kind I of shoes are those? Are those Reeboks too? Ultra or are those Adidas's? Ultra Boost. Adidas. Ooh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, they're really dude. comfortable. There you go. There, there. What's up? Adidas is the plug. Dude, Adidas is nice. Well, you're a big Especially soccer fan, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I was about to say, you were running around that jersey, dude. I was like, this guy's got to be a fan. <laughs> Who's your favorite team? This guy's got to uh, Barcelona. <laughs> Barcelona. Yep. Dude, um, who does... Uh, fucking... Messi plays for Barcelona, right? Yeah. It's like uh, their they're big threes, like basically Messi, Suarez, Neymar. Dude, when I was, when I was uh, working at Seasons Pizza, I was like 19 or 20. And it was during the time of some World Cup. I was a European Cup or something. I don't know the fuck it was. Mm-hmm. Went to the beach for the World Cup one year. Yeah, se- our senior week was World Cup. Our senior week was World and Cup, dude. That was the only four fun. years later we went. Or maybe was it two years? Every two years? Every four years? The World Cup or, or World Cup every year? four years, like okay. the Olympics. Yeah, it's every so four I think years. We went twenty fourteen too. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually in Brazil for the uh, the sure. World Cup. So was that when it was hosted there? Yeah. How it was, was 2014. Whoa. It was crazy. I didn't get to go to any games, sadly, but like, uh, like the the vibe there was like there's insane. some yeah. There's some fucked up shit that happened getting uh, all that stuff built. And yeah, like, yeah. it know. always is that way. Yeah, they do yeah. the same shit. Kind of the same shit with the Olympics. But I mean, I guess being Brazilian, Argent Messi's from Argentina, right? Yeah, Argentina. Doesn't that, isn't that like a big rivalry? Yeah, that's a big rivalry. That's like a big like historical thing. I feel yeah, like. it is. What well, else? I don't even know what the fuck I happened. don't even know. Yeah, I just, I just like know they're other. rivals. <laughs> I feel like if you're just neighboring countries, you just don't yeah, like each like other. You don't fuck with each other. Like it's it's like no like way that two countries can exist next to each other without eventually not liking yeah, each other. Not like the fact that we still have a solid relationship with Canada is like, blows my fucking mind. 
was yeah. my line. But then like Canada's Pittsburgh cool. Steelers, we're connected to Pennsylvania. We yeah. hate those yeah. dudes. <laughs> we fucking hate the Steelers. Dude, fuck the Steelers. Canada's know, actually, pretty far away. We don't really care. But yeah, the Steelers. Okay, sure. Yeah, Canada. Yeah, I guess maybe I don't know. I don't know how it fucking works, but I don't know. But Barcelona's in Spain. Spain. Yeah. Okay. That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure I got my geography on point, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Brazil, that's South America. <laughs> <laughs> Just start fucking geography in this shit. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Perfect. Did you play soccer in high school? Uh, just like for fun. Like I started. Not on the team. Nah. What What high school did you go to? Northwest High School. Do they have a solid like soccer team? Yeah, they had a solid soccer team. What county is that? Uh, um, Montgomery County. Okay. I feel yeah. like whenever people think of Montgomery County, they think of like, is it like, it, like there's like super like well-to-do parts of Montgomery County, right? Yeah. Is that like, is Gaithersburg in Montgomery County? Or is yeah, it? it is. And it's like right next to PG County, which is like super not that well-to-do. Yeah. Right? I don't, I don't well, think PG. A lot yeah. of PG County is pretty well-to-do. Yeah, College it depends. Parts where. like DC people. Yeah. 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 PG County is pretty far though mm-hmm. from Montgomery County. Is it really? I thought they were neighbors. Or at I least it was from like, where I'm at. This is Maybe it is neighbors. Geography but like, right now. But yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where it's at, to be honest. Like, But it's it's probably pretty close. DC is here, right? Yeah. I would say DC is here. And you got MoCo? Or like, I think it's like MoCo is like up here. Right? Up here? I don't know. It's, yeah, so are you guys map, close? Like right so you guys up. aren't close to DC then? No, nah, not really. Or compared to Baltimore? Close I think, or no? Hmm. I don't know who's farther. I think both of you guys are like pretty far. I take the metro usually to like DC unless I'm like I'm shooting a show. Mm-hmm. It's usually like an hour or so away. Okay. From 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 Germantown? Yeah. It's about an hour. Well, we're here. definitely further than you, obviously. Yeah. Up in Baltimore, it's like I mean, you can drive to DC in what forty five with no traffic, no probably traffic fifty minutes. Dude, yeah. Forty five, oh, okay. fifty minutes. Yeah, it's like around the same. I used time, to drive down to College Park all the time, and that was like about the same. About the same. Yeah, I might be wrong though. So like. If you fact know, check me, then. Like, <laughs> fact check you stuff, yeah. yeah. yeah it's like, right I like now, click my timer off when I see like DC, like a couple miles away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I made it in thirty minutes. <laughs> Eric knows, dude. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I fucking sped it. From it's a DC certain one amount night, of minutes dude. away. That's what I know, dude. <laughs> I was coming from DC at like nine thirty. I left DC to come here to do a podcast. I got here at like ten oh five, dude. Mm-hmm. I was speeding on two ninety five. <laughs> that was you wild. take two ninety five back? Yeah, sometimes. What'd you take to get up here? To get up here, I just like so the the big highway for us was two seventy. Oh yeah, two seventy. Everybody knows about two seventy. Yeah, the biggest highway. I don't know about two seventy. I mean, either I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm assuming <laughs> it goes connected. to seventy. I'm assuming it goes to seventy. Nah, it doesn't. Spit it up two seventy. It's yeah. like the speed limit. No, no. <laughs> I was like, "What? Yeah, you get here really fast." <laughs> I'm talking about. I'm talking about interstate. 70. I don't fucking know. I don't know streets to be oh, honest. Man, I'm talking, I'll, I'll I'm take the GPS. About the street game. Right I'll take now. the GPS. I don't, I don't even know the streets of my hometown, bro. bro. All I talk about is streets, dog. <laughs> Does it like, I know, like um, two streets in my city? <laughs> did, it, did it like link up with 695 or 83? Dude, there? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just fucking, take, I just look at the GPS and I'm like, yeah, I'm in the right you're direction. Just in the fucking matrix, dog. <laughs> did you hit a lot of stop signs picture. before you got here? Were you on the highway? Mm, the highway. Highway. Okay. Highway all the way. No stopping. There we go. Not really. No. So you probably hit like it probably connects with 695 or 80. I'm telling or you, 270 has got to hit 70 because most of the auxiliary. <laughs> Interstates, yeah, you're right. Like yeah. 95, then they Could have 195, 395, on 275. Can I get to Frederick? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. It's 70. It's 70, dog. <laughs> it might be like. <laughs> it might like. It probably connects with 70. This podcast is brought to you by Interstate 70 and Miller High Life. <laughs> Champagne of beer. Get to a lot of stuff. You can get to a lot of stuff on Interstate 70. You really can. <laughs> Dude, I've only <laughs> taken it to Frederick and Columbia. To be honest. I used to take it. To, yeah, I used to take it to Columbia every yeah, day. If you go past, it's like uh, Montgomery County is like right before Frederick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, it goes from Baltimore to Coveport, Utah. Really? That's a fact. Yeah. That's crazy. Interstate seven. It hits. Uh, it goes That's through wild. like Ohio that. and fact. stuff too, right? All the um, yeah, it goes through all that shit. I mean, it goes. It's not it go, it, it, the okay. So 
what I really found fascinating was you ever been to Ocean City, Maryland? Yeah, I've been there. Yeah, yeah. So when you pull into Ocean City through the inlet, when you pop out on First Street, you like make a left, you go yeah, into yeah. all the shit. When you leave Ocean City from that same bridge, like the First Street bridge. Yeah, yeah that first bridge. It's like mile one of 50. And you'll see, yeah, mile zero, you'll see a sign at the top when you're leaving, and it'll say Sacramento, California, 3,003 miles. Really? Yeah. I never noticed that. Yeah, you'll yeah. see it. That's and crazy. And it's because Route 50 runs from Sacramento, California to Ocean City, Maryland. That's fucking wild. Because yeah. before, I did not know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before they, before they started all the interstates and shit like uh-huh. that, like I-95 and Interstate 70 and all that, there was, uh, they had the routes, the state route system. And so the even, one, even numbered ones went east and west. Mm-hmm. Uh, so like Route 1. Route you know, like one, Key Bel- West, yeah. dude. Route one goes from I've Key been to West, the bottom Florida. Of route one, yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah, they put out yeah. my one. Mm-hmm. Key West, Crazy. Florida, to the top of Maine. Mm-hmm. That's Route one. But like, like around here in 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 Baltimore County, it's called Bel Air Road. Yeah. Um, in Baltimore City, it's North Avenue. Actually, that's Route one. And then yeah, so that's how that shit works. Dude. Not hip. You just learned that. It's all good. Dude. I, it took me a long time. We didn't time know about blonde that. earlier, so yeah. You know, so just yeah, dude, you dropped out. a seat. You, you changed <laughs> my life. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Really wild. changed my life. I've never been more proud to not be blonde than when you said that. I was like, yo, <laughs> fuck, man, dog. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta take another piss. I'm sorry, guys. That was back. This is back. When- this is back when when YouTube covers were still a thing, dude. I mean, they're still a thing, but like when when we when I was coming up, it was just like, yeah, it was a big thing before. It was For huge. Sure. Dude. That acoustic was everybody covers. did. Everybody was all was about the thing. acoustic covers. That was totally the thing. Everybody was about acoustic covers except for mine. Actually, that's what I learned <laughs> from, from 2011. <laughs> it's like, damn, just did not ride that wave appropriately. That's <laughs> uh, whatever, dude. Whatever. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know what. I don't, I don't even know. I guess I guess when you're in the time, it's hard to dis, it's hard to decipher what's popping at the time. Because like I didn't realize when I was when I was I was 18 in 2010, mm-hmm. and when this whole time was going on, 2010, 2011, I had no clue, like that I would be able to look back from a from a distance and and actually see how the times were different. Yeah, that that moth, yeah, dude. The fucking moth. Yeah, dude. He's all right. You can keep on talking. He's though. a killer. <laughs> But I, you know, it's it's weird because like you know when you watch like a movie from the seventies or a movie from mm-hmm. the eighties and like they always have like the like the the cliche kind of like quintessential like oh this is what a seventies person looked like this is what a eighties yeah, yeah, yeah. person looked like this is nineties like oh I love the nineties and all this shit was nineties yeah. shit it's not until you're out of the time that you can actually look back and be like oh that is what defined our time period yeah I and I can look back to twenty ten and be like oh that was like when. That was when the idea of getting big on the internet was really just starting to to kind of like pop. Yeah. yeah, it was like it was like the first time in human history it was like oh sh- we could do this shit on our own. Yeah. And now that's kind of become the whole game at this point. Uh-huh. But like seven years ago, that was when everybody thought they were the next Justin Bieber. Like everybody was going to put out an acoustic cover mm-hmm. and then get like popping off that shit. But yeah, fucking it, Justin Bieber just got found by like Usher. Yeah, oh, and I guess that kind of defines the time. It's like one person does it, and then everyone else likes the result he got and just tries, tries to do it too. That, yeah, and it's just that's what style is, I guess. I mean, yeah. when you think, what is style really? You know, like you like you you do the fashion shit. I never under, I never understood it because it seems like I don't know. I mean, as far as I can see, style is like I'm gonna wear pants. I'm gonna wear pants. Because uh-huh. it'd be weird to wear like a kilt or something else. And in a way, you could make the argument that that's style. Yeah. Like we could technically, I could technically wear any. I feel like everybody style. has their own like type of style, even if it's like like something you don't think about. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like uh, like what you wear every day, like people like, oh, that's like their certain type of style. Like, But the idea of just being in style, like the idea yeah. of having the stylish haircut or like the stylish shoes or like anything, it's all based off this kind of precept where we're all just noticing what other people are doing and, and then like copying, copying that yeah mm-hmm. so it's kind of i mean it's just in that aspect i could never i could never fully get into it but i respect it because it takes the first person who comes up with that shit the first person who rocked the short on the side tall on the top <laughs> yeah. that guy was sick and then every fucking <laughs> fuckboy including myself had that and it was just like 
but none of you guys are as cool as the first guy who did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking Every about. single person just wanted to be as cool as the first guy who did it, you yeah. know? Everybody wants to be the person who defined the times, but most people just wind up being the people who just represent the times. They, yeah. just, they just fall. Same thing as like the man bun. The man bun was man popping bun was thing, like yeah. two years ago. Yeah. Everyone had a fucking man bun. Now you'd be laughed at if you yeah. had one. Yeah, that oh, was especially if you have the short on the dude. sides combo with the yeah, man dude. bun. Short on the side <laughs> Top the knot, bun, then you were the ultimate fuck boy. Dude, Wear that, I a saw bucket a hat. many people doing that. Oh yeah, the bucket hat was huge. Dude, the bucket hat when during our senior week they had like the sunglasses, the Kanye sunglasses with yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, the lines hey, across. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 2010 was a big year, dude, for, for for dude. for memorable shit. Dude. And you could look back like in the same way I can go back and be like, oh yeah, bowl cuts, bell bottom, like you know what time I'm talking about. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, fucking star shades is 2010, man. 2010. <laughs> I would have never thought if you were to come up to me in 2010 and say, yo, what is representative of your times? I would not have that answer for you. And so I do wonder, like, what what are people gonna see when they look when they look back on twenty seventeen? What what are they gonna think about this time period, this generation? It's gonna mm-hmm. be the fucking tie dye dreadlocks. It's, I don't even know. That's like what all the fucking honest. rappers you can't, are wearing. You can't, nah, like what Yeezys? I guess Yeezys, Yeezys, Yeezys like hypey yeah. shit, like Supreme and Supreme all that's kind of like sure. popping. But uh, I don't know if that defines. Uh, I don't know. Like maybe the hype beast era is kind of like. In a way, when you say, what do you mean by hype beast? Like, like the, you know, like Supreme, like Bape, and all that's kind of like popping right now. It's tough to tell, dude. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's just so hard to know. Yeah, it's hard to when know. You're in it. Yeah, what, what? else is popping right now? Chokers <laughs> for girls. Girls wear chokers now. But I feel like that's been a thing, dude. I like chokers. I don't know. Dude. I like. I like. I don't know what it is, but like when I see a girl wearing a choker, I'm just like. It's just like a That's nice contrast. <laughs> like it's just, it's just like I don't know. I don't know if it's like a male, like instinctual thing. Like I, I don't know what it is, but like I just look at a girl. She's got the thing around her neck. I'm just like, fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. It's kind of like a waist, high waisted shorts. Just within the past two years, really started coming back. Like when mm. girls wear like the, like the shorts. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking here. about. Yeah. yeah, that didn't used to be a thing back in like the early back in the late '90s, early 2000s, and kind of like up until throughout high school that I can remember, it was like it was more like low cut shit. It started yeah. becoming a thing. Like, would you say like maybe senior like, year? Yeah, or? senior year probably. Possibly, I, kept, I would see like the younger people doing. It, I'd be like. Damn, yeah, these people are hot. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How are they but, fucking 16? This is illegal. <laughs> uh, but they just started coming up and it's just like all of a sudden, but that used that to be was in a high big school thing. by the way. Yeah. Not yeah, not yeah, yeah. Eric was Eric was, I was, was young enough to think those disgusting <laughs> thoughts. <Yeah. laughs> but uh, Dude, I remember in cooking class someone had like a like basically a curtain that they fashioned into like a toga but on both sides. So then, like, it was like an both, X. there's just a strip cut out from like her hip all the way up. Are you to talking about who I think I'm talking about? Yeah. For yes. Sure. Oh and she would wear that shit like every now and again, and you'd just see side boob. There'd be no bra, <laughs> there'd be nothing. It's just like Confidence. weird. It's weird to talk about it now because it's just like, at the, this girl was in our grade. Uh huh. Like, she was like, she was a senior, we were seniors. But like, now I'm 24, so like, Talking about a senior in high school, and like my memory of that is like borderline weird. Uh-huh. Yeah, but no. I'm I'm bring I'm approaching this from a perspective of like what I was thinking at the time. At the time, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> remember the way I described when I was listening to that song, and I was like, I remember where I was yeah, yeah, the yeah. first time I saw that guy hit that <laughs> note. Like that shit changed my like. I had never seen a girl like that like developed in my. I was like, I was. I mean, I, like just like in a girl life. my age be, <laughs> be that. I was like. I was like, it, like, I think it. I think it's what caused me to go through puberty. I think it, <laughs> <laughs> it was the trick. That was the scientific cause. <laughs> it was <laughs> my body just snapped out of it. It was like, whoa, <laughs> you got to get in on that, dog, <laughs> dude. Uh, yeah, that shit was that shit was crazy, man. <laughs> that shit was crazy. First day of puberty, right there. Twelfth <laughs> grade. <laughs> uh, man, I don't know. I don't know. I can't definitively say. I, I still can't. I mean, you, you, can you grow a beard yet? Mm, I can grow like on the sides, like on the bottom of my neck. So like this, what like I have mustache. right here. Exactly <laughs> yeah. what you have right that's there. Little that's patches I, on the side. Yeah, that's what I could do. 
at your age. This is what I can yeah. do now still. Just this. <laughs> Fuck. I'm trying to like get <laughs> yeah. it over here. But like, I had a solid. I got, like little patches right here. Yeah. I have like a solid. Worst, like, dude. Yeah. You can't fill it in. You can't exactly. fill like, in I beard want patches. Like, dude. A full beard. Like, <laughs> so now I have to just rock the clean shaving because like yeah. that's, that's what's up. <laughs> I can I can like I've, I've finally reached the point where like I can let the shit grow out. Uh huh. And it doesn't look dirty. Or at least I, I don't think mean, it yeah. looks dirty. My it probably does look dirty. dirty. Like other people might just be, I just might hang Dude, out with like, like really nice. My right side burn nasty. is like thicker than my left one. Really? <laughs> so I had to like <laughs> shave it down. <laughs> Mine look like kind of different Dude. too. But it I feel like that, should, the other. that yeah. shit takes a while. I, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what causes certain people to have facial hair. Yeah. I mean, cause like, okay, I'm Greek and Italian. Uh huh. Like based off of those you two. You have a lot of hair. I should have a lot of hair, dude. Like I should be Maybe killing. you just took the L. Yeah, I took the yeah, L on those with, jeans. With jeans, dude. yeah. Lost all those curls. Hair zones, jeans dude. just are like, yeah, Damn. fuck this guy. And like Brazilians, <laughs> you guys should be pretty. I mean, you guys did invent the wax. You're right. So <laughs> you guys are like the work. fucking founders of having hairy no, ass pube, body parts. Bro. That's all pube. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I don't you don't know. get a Brazilian wax on your face. You actually you don't wax your. Yeah, beard. you wax your like your body. Women do. I guess they wax yeah. like their mustache. Little mustache. Yeah. I, I mean. I, They're I cute hope little so. mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the idea of a girl with a mustache is, I don't know. I don't know how, I, it's just weird to think that like different sexes are attracted to different shits. I could not imagine being attracted to like fucking a my beard. face. Same. I don't know. I feel like everyone has like their thing. the clear hair on their face, but like, I i don't know. I'm, my, my younger cousin growing up, she's, uh, was probably like six years old and she was Italian, like half Italian, half mm-hmm. like Irish or whatever. Just had a fucking crustache as like a six year old. <sighs> she had like a she had a crustache until maybe like twelve years old and then she like realized to shave it off. Yeah. yeah. She's like, oh shit, I shouldn't <laughs> started going off. to like an all girls school mm-hmm. and it's like, oh I gotta shave this. <laughs> <laughs> I always had a theory that you haven't truly peaked until you can grow a beard. Really? And I guess that's just because it's going to take me forever to grow a beard. And so it's easier to look. Give yourself like, some time. Hey, <laughs> not not, not there yet. Still got more to go. It's gonna be like then you're going to let yourself like down if you never grow a beard. Like same beard. I think I'll grow a beard. I think eventually, like, I don't know. I think it happens eventually. Just like hope for it. <laughs> I think it's just like, I think it's just like different. Like, okay, here's a fact. And here's mm-hmm. something. Well, it's not a fact. It's just like something I'm going to say. Then I'm going to try to convince you it's yeah. true. All Just right. like you hit puberty when you saw a decent <laughs> woman in real life. <laughs> yeah. 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 None of this is real. <laughs> but um, um, actually, you know what? This, this is actually real. When you, <laughs> when you go bald, okay. you go bald due to there's like some like variant of testosterone and it's like die, die something. But whatever, the, the overabundance of it causes your hair follicles to like shut down. Okay. And so uh, typically that is um, connected to high levels of testosterone in the body. Mm-hmm. High, levels of t- high levels of testosterone in the body are what cause you to go through puberty at a younger age. Like kids with like a less concentration of testosterone, I would imagine might either hit puberty at a later time in life or it might take them longer to undergo the full changes. I know dudes that were in eighth grade that could grow full beards. For Same. Sure. I have yeah. a friend that like grows yeah. a full ass beard. Most of like, those guys. Most, like the seventh grade. Most <laughs> of those guys wind up going bald. Yeah. That's what... Uh, I with, feel bad for my friend then. <laughs> he's still got hair though, right? Yeah, he's still got hair. But most of the guy, I tell you, every guy that you know, that you can think of that had a ha- had facial hair in like middle school and I'm going to even say as much as high school, mm-hmm. like under the age of 18, they're going to go, they're going to wind up going bald, dude. Yeah. There they are. They are. And I hope we don't have any people listening that have beards Coming right now. Coming out to this realization. <laughs> like, because oh, it's fuck. fucking true. It's fucking <laughs> true. Like that's your, that's like just what happens, dude. Damn, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. You're not going to go bald. You're, is your dad bald? No. Is your mom bald? Is your, no. mom's, <laughs> dad, is your mom's dad bald? Mm, no. I think that's the signal. Mom's dad. Right? I think that's like... Is, I don't know. Is that just like a fucking like wives tale? I don't have a problem with being bald in like 80. Like, I feel like yeah, it would be, exactly. like be weird if you weren't bald when you're 80. I, I feel, like, I feel yeah. like you'd be like... 
You're like 50. I, I feel like he's showing off. Dude, you're going to want age. hair when you're 50. Yeah, you're going to hate you'd yourself. Want, you'd why? want hair at 50. Why would, why would you not, not want hair at 50? 50 not that old. It's not that 50's old. 50's not that old, but what am but I like, going to be doing with hair at 50? <laughs> Dude, what are you not going to be doing with hair? You're probably still going to have color in your hair when you're 50. You don't want to be bald when you still have color. Once my hair yeah. goes gray, I don't care where it goes. I'll get rid of it. It's lost its I'll rock, lost the, its luster I'll rock the gray hair. I mean, I'll, I'll rock it, it doesn't but go like, away. if I go bald, once it's gone I don't gray, know how I, lo- I would look bald. You know? It's tough. It's some a people, scary some, thought. It's a scary thought, sense. right? I don't I've have only had hair on my head. Shit. I've exactly. never shaved it all that way off. It'd be I think, weird. I think people who are bald have evolved to have better shaped heads so that it looks better when they're bald. <laughs> I think it's because they keep shaving their head down That's with not the a razor. They That's shave a it like a hedge. Yeah. They yeah, just they keep do. skinning they the head. Yeah. They head so then and it they shaves it down. into like nice, a perfect yeah. like It's like Spongebob in that Halloween episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. I literally just watched that. He's a ghost. He's just a brain. He's just a brain. like two eyes. Jesus, dude. They used to have some serious shit. They don't do I don't know what they do now. I, I guess I'll shit. I guess I'll find out again when I have kids, but like I don't know what cartoons are. No, there's like some right now. weird ass shows like on on there like especially like Cartoon Network. There's some like there's like this one show with like this grandpa or some shit. I don't know yeah. if you guys watched it, but like uh, I, I I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's fucking it's like weird. Something grandpa or something it's like, like that. Uncle grandpa. Uncle grandpa. Yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah, yeah. weird as shit. I watched it the other day and I was like, what the fuck? Cartoon is Network this? definitely took um uh when I was a kid they had like you know weird ass shows i think this is cartoon network like yeah, cartoon network would they plied a lot cartoon of cartoon network like peaked at adventure time and regular show well what happened was they they the, it all started when they implemented adult swim yeah you know what adult swim yeah, yeah. yeah and that was like when that came out that was kind of like i guess to compete with nick at night because mm-hmm. nick at night yeah. had and then been what the fuck happened to cartoon cartoon that was uh, my shit Cartoon, cartoon got. I mean, they cut the Friday every, night cartoons, dude. Those were dope. I don't even think. I don't. I don't think I know what that is, dude. Every Friday, I know what you're night, talking about, but that that like, hasn't been around for a while. Really? Those were. It was fucking sick. We would watch it at my grandma's house, and it would be like a countdown where all the cartoon characters really? would meet up. And That's crazy. Like, I've right, never kids seen next that. door, and then like. Billy and Mandy, the and then like some other All shit. All those shows and, are like amazing. Dude, yeah. They were good. They were, but Samurai Cartoon Network. Samurai Jack. Samurai yeah. Jack. Yeah. yeah. And I think Buff they Girls. brought that back. Recently. They brought that yeah. back now. I don't, I think it's an adult, it's an adult swim. swim. Yeah. yeah. It's Phil Lamar. He was on Mad TV. Well, that was the same guy that did Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, yeah. So those are all good shows. Hang on, it was a fantastic show. I remember the, I remember the first episode of SpongeBob. It was 2001. I was nine. SpongeBob's my shit. Dude. I fucking well, love What year you were born? You were born in... 1998. 1998. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You hit. You probably started watching SpongeBob at its prime. Yeah. Like the first couple of years. The of SpongeBob first couple were seasons good, are amazing. But they just like I don't know. They. Just I mean, it's still pretty good. Weird. Yeah, it's like, it's like more the high definition, kinda, right? They didn't really know where yeah. they were going with it. It's they tough like to like find out the characters. They yeah. like kind of made a but, uh, computer and stuff. You know, it's still good though. Mm-hmm, for I sure. Think. Mm. SpongeBob's still like a top show. Definitely. Dude, I remember seeing the first episode of Rock. It's kind of like when you said you like remember the where you episode. were when you heard that sound. The first episode of fucking SpongeBob Rocket Power. Oh, Rocket Power. I remember seeing that at the beach. So I was like, "Yo, these guys like surf and boogie board. I'm at the beach. This is dope." <laughs> and they <laughs> skateboard. Me, I do that. <laughs> yeah, they were lit. Rocket Power was lit as shit. They were like dude. they were like the original cool kids, dude. Yeah, like, we had never seen cool kids surfing before. Surfing on our boogie boards and shit after that. <laughs> because before that, now that I'm thinking about it, before Rocket Power, all the cartoons were fucking losers. Like SpongeBob's, yeah, SpongeBob's a fucking a loser. loser Arnold was kind of a loser. Doug Arnold was, was cool. a loser. No, nah, no. Nah, Arnold was definitely cool. Arnold was cool. Well, like, that man's voice was even cool. Like, but his head. Maybe eh. that's why I liked Tony Arnold. Because hey, Arnold all the other cool, cartoons dude. were yeah, fucking. Doug was kind of lame. He got bullied. Oh yeah, Doug. Arnold was. Arnold got bullied, but like, but he was, was like by a, cool a girl guy. that liked him. Rocco, yeah, exactly. Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco was a loser. He was like a call center dude. All the dude, all of them, fucking Ren and Snippy. They were both fucking losers. They lost every episode. <laughs> every episode they fucking <laughs> lost. But that's where comedy comes in. Yeah, exactly. You know? But that's what I'm saying. Can't Rocket have, like, Power a... was the first show that was like, yo, what if we instead just have a group of really fucking dope people and then instead of having one person be cool, we'll just have one person be lame. Yeah. And they invented Squid. 
You have one fucking piece of shit. And the rest of the cast would be awesome. Uncle Tito, dope. Uncle Raymundo, sick. <laughs> Everybody's dope in this show except for Squid. And he's still a good goalie. And the fucking so even two then. old Jew neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking Damn, I haven't Ed, watched Ed, that Nettie. Show so Ed, Ed and Nettie were all complete fucking losers. I did losers. not fuck with Ed, Ed and Nettie. Dude, I never watched it. That's because our generation grew up watching losers. We grew up learning how to be... We grew up not learning not how to be cool. We were like... But then we learned, like, I guess the moral of the cartoon was like... You but if you're not cool, cool that's you what's cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. But I was like, no, dude, I feel like being cool is what's cool. Yeah, you didn't want to be that then. You want that now, but yeah. not then. You want to yeah. be cool when you're a kid. Yeah, like, I don't want to learn how to not be cool in middle school. Like, yeah, this might play off later in life, but I don't, I don't give a fuck about later in life. I don't at seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't give a shit about this. Damn, dude, that's the difference. That's the difference. If, if our generation would have had that, who knows she where I'd be, dude. dude. I <laughs> If I grew Slower up on people world. pumping me up, where would I be now? <laughs> just, just <laughs> that could have been it, dude. But then you guys are gonna be cool, and then, then you got now you guys are gonna get sucked into the matrix, dude. And it's, and then you're gonna think it's lame to be cool. No, 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 no. You guys are gonna get and sucked then into teach the whole your kids that shit we were talking about like. earlier, dude. That shit we were talking about earlier with like the whole fucking technology thing. That's definitely like the next generation, dude. They're not even gonna know. They're not even going to picture what it's like to not have everything in the world at their disposal. Uh, like yeah. just the idea of not being able to do and, and, and have anything you want instantly is just going to be so fucking foreign to so many people. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that like we lived in like pre iPhone like era. We kind of watched, we, we watched it like develop. This time period, I will venture to say, this is the only time period I'm aware of that I've been alive during. Mm-hmm. So I might be a little bit biased. I'm, a, I'm definitely a little bit biased towards this era of time. But who, who hasn't been, I guess? But this time period could potentially be the biggest shift in humanity since, I'm going to say, uh, the agricultural revolution. Really? Yeah. When we discovered... When we discovered how to grow things and stopped having to be hunter gatherers and started being able to cultivate our own land mm-hmm. and started being able to just like fill society, that's where the idea of culture comes from. Culture is cultivating. Yeah, once, yeah. One, once you can, once you no longer have to fucking chase buffalo and instead can just fucking do your shit right in your backyard, then you can start thinking about why the moon's in the sky and all this other shit that like you really don't have time to think about when you're chasing a fucking buffalo, dude. Like nobody's doing algebra and chasing a buffalo at the same time. Like you really got to focus on one of the other. Once we did that, that was like a major shift. I would say that this time period, and we got to witness it. We got to witness the, the pre-internet versus the post-internet. Mm-hmm. I think this is going to shape out to be the biggest fucking change in humanity since then, if not bigger. Probably. If not bigger. Because everything about technology just like promotes i don't i mean I, I might be a little bit pessimistic about this shit but no just, i mean i kind of see that like a baby born today is going to be able to know how to use an ipad before learning the english language yeah you know what i mean you're, you're learning yeah. how to not technology gives you the ability to not be human it, it you provides know, like you with it, the it, shortcut it depends on how you use it because like uh with technology you're like you're disposed to like all the information in the world, technically. Mm-hmm. So you could learn from it, but you can also, you know, most people just like, you know, abuse it with like social media and like whatnot. But like, but you and I are depends. approaching it from a standpoint that we can actually, we have Gain seen both from. sides. Yeah. We've seen both sides. So we've seen what life is before that. And mm-hmm. then we watched it happen. So like for me, and I guess people of our generation, it's very easy for us to see technology happening and I guess the more aware of the bunch are able to step back and be like, well, no, you have to make sure how to use this appropriately. But people that are born right now, people that are being born right now, they're going to be teenagers in 15 years, 20, 30, 20, 35 or something like that. Yeah. They're not going to have any clue what the other side of humanity has to offer. Yeah, that's crazy. So it's almost like on us as a generation to recognize where this shit could go because we're the last hope that humanity has for knowing what humanity has to offer. I don't mean to take this like way the fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's it's crazy to think because yeah, that's like, wild. I've never thought of because, that because like by the time like the generation growing up now realizes like kind of like 
the parasitic effects of technology. You can watch it happening. Like the generation like X or whatever, whatever like the baby mm-hmm. boomers are, like they're going to be like long gone by the time like people are like, what was it like before technology? And then it's just up to like scientific records of it or history. Like history whatever. books and whatnot. But it's like, oh, that's history just, iPads. Who knows? I don't know. And you never, <laughs> hear you from never someone you, who actually went through it, you know? You never get the real, you never get the real image when you like, I don't know. It's whenever you read like a historical, it's never, it's never told from somebody who was actually there. I guess that's, I guess that's kind of relates back to what we were talking about before. Like when you're talking about the times and like 2010, mm-hmm. like we can look back now and see that it was different, but like we can look back to 1776 or like any of these other crucial time periods in history. And we always talk about it as like, Oh, those guys back then. But like, we always forget that the people that were doing that shit back then had no idea what was going to happen as a result of what they did. Yeah. Like, like, you know, independence day just passed the, the people who fought the American Revolution had no idea that they were going to win that shit. You know, they were hoping they were going to win that shit. They really fucking hoped hard they were going to win that shit, but like, they could have never, they had no idea that this shit was going to happen then. That was all they knew back then. Yeah. All they knew was like, dude, I don't know what the fuck is it. What's a telephone, dude? If I want to talk to somebody in the other state, I got to wait a week, dude. Like, it's just, it's just wild, dude. It's just yeah. wild. Dude, it used to be a thing where uh, calling out a state would cost money. Yeah. It used to be not, it would be toll free in state, and then calling cross country, it would be like an extra 10 cents a minute or whatever. I remember before area codes came to be. Do you remember when area codes weren't a thing? I don't remember that. Don't remember do that. Are you sure you remember that? Or is <laughs> first, that like a first dream you had? Because <laughs> there are definitely area codes for a minute. Dude, I don't know where I was the first time I dialed. Are you sure you like weren't staying in a hotel and you're like, oh, I can just dial the room number? Let me That's tell you dope. something. When I, when I was like five, there was a commercial on TV, maybe four or five, and it was like a wild one of those wildlife commercials, uh-huh. like. The tigers are endangered and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. And I was like looking at it and all the tigers are looking like sad as fuck. And I was like, damn, I got to do something about this. <laughs> 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 so I called him up and I didn't understand the concept of donation at the time. You know, uh, when you're a kid, you don't yeah. understand that. Like, yeah. I, I remember I got this argument with my money. dad. I got this argument <laughs> with my dad when I was like eight and, and he, he had to pay this guy a check. And he was explaining me the concept of like bouncing a check. I was like, I was like, Dad, if you can just write a check, then you can just buy anything, right? Like you just write the amount on a piece of paper and it becomes that amount, right? And he was like, No, Jim, it's based off of like how much money you have in your bank account. And I was like, I was like, No, but like if the val I, I don't even know, dude, I can't even think of what I was thinking at the <laughs> I know time. what you're trying to say that. But I was yeah, like, yeah. the um, in my kid mind, I was incapable of processing that like you can't just write a random amount on a piece of paper. Yeah, and you make have a certain amount that you Because in my head, I was thinking like, I remember the argument that I raised my dad was like, the number one's just written on a piece of paper for like a dollar and everybody just accepts that. <laughs> so what's the difference? Which in a way is kind of like, I don't know. But at the same time, I was yeah. like, no, this shit, like I just couldn't get it. Anyway, I called up the fucking Tiger Association and uh, I just said, I, the point of the story is that they didn't have an area code. That's really? the main moral of this story. That's yeah. crazy. They didn't have an area code, but I just remember like as I was like, I just want to say the Tigers, and they're like, okay, like what's your credit card? I was like, I, low key, I it thought was <laughs> just a fraud. Like they were just try, trying trying to take your money, dude. It could have like, yeah, been. Yeah, you well know, been. we don't have an area code, but what's your credit card information? What's <laughs> <laughs> your social security? Like, like, literally, you're just purse. typing in a credit card number on your phone <laughs> to like, dial. Oh, okay. <laughs> dude, that sounded know. like a four. Was that tigers. a four? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the three numbers on the back of the card. <laughs> <laughs> they can get kids with that and they can get old people with that. Yeah. Yeah, Fuck. dude. That's a crime. What's, um, so like, what's, so like, besides this Toronto thing, what do you, like, in the month, that's, ju- that's next week, right? You're going up Yeah, that's next, next week. week. That's so crazy. Yeah, it's insane. Are you guys, you're flying out there, I assume, right? I have no idea. I think we might be <laughs> trying. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't fucking okay. know. Do you have your passport? Yeah, I do. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay, cool. He's been to Brazil oh, you've been three to Brazil. years ago. Yeah. 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 So sense. I'm like, do you all need set a passport up. to go to Canada? Yeah, you do. Now do you do, you? yeah. I thought there were like a now state you do? Now or something. I don't yeah, know. dude. In, in 2010. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. In 2010, I went to like two or three different cities in Canada on like a cruise or something uh-huh. after high school graduation. And I didn't need a passport. Really? But then like in 2012 or 14 or something, 
they maybe they were like, yeah, we're a country. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're just like, I don't know. We did something shitty to them. Oh, I think, probably. Like, I think we made it so that like they needed their passport to get into oh, so our country. Like, so you. then they're like, fuck you, dude. Then it's the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> we're just like we Sam, we next door neighbors, dude. Yeah. Fuck you. You didn't buy me Nintendo like, 64 for Christmas? But dude, sorry, you. Canada. <laughs> you're not connected to fucking Mexico, too. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, dude. Yeah. You got two I mean, borders Mexico, you need a passport, so. Yeah. You definitely do, dude. But Canada the, is kind of the cooler, you know. You think Canada's cooler than Mexico? No, nah, Mexico's pretty cool, but like, I mean, like. But they can't make a law the more that's calm, like, like. I would rather hang you know out with a Mexican than a Canadian. I'll put they that can't out make there, a law right that's like. Now. If you're going through the north border, you don't need a passport. But the southern border, you need a passport. They got to do like yeah, at yeah. all borders, you need a passport. Yeah, you need a passport. <laughs> what I mean by the Mexico thing is like a less dangerous, like oh yeah, like Canada's from, way from less Mexico dangerous to like than Canada. It's like I mean, yeah, it's like, like, like someone going to Canada to from America is like oh, probably some kid trying to like trying get to in there for like, like the drinking age. Club yeah, or whatever. I'm gonna. I don't know if you've ever seen like that '70s show, but like yeah. there was like one episode where. Uh, they didn't sneak into Canada, but they just like went into Canada so they could like just buy a bunch of beers and like Fez rec- like forgot his passport or some yeah. shit. <laughs> so they had to like try to smuggle him back into the country. <laughs> That's a good app, dude. Yeah. That's a good app. So you got you got this thing in Toronto and then anything big coming up with DJ Booth? Uh, I don't know. To be honest with DJ Booth, it's like basically I send an email maybe three days before the show. And then they send an email or or not to uh, whoever's like in control of like the photo passes for that certain artist, and like uh, you know sometimes they have contacts with that like that artist management or whatever, and then sometimes they don't. So like it's really iffy for me. So like I don't know who like who they know and like who not. Oh. So you get and do you just mainly do like Instagram? Do you have a website? Or? I mainly do Instagram. I'm. I hope I can like. Or I'm gonna try to open up a website maybe like in the upcoming year. Dope. You should just check out that like Squarespace website. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you're like Mr. That. Gustavo on, on yeah, Instagram. Yeah, Mr. Underscore Gustavo. Mr. Mr. Underscore Gustavo. Mm-hmm. That shit's popping, dude. For Thanks, sure. Man. Shit's kicking the fuck. And it's like LFTS podcast. Instagram it definitely <laughs> like gives people the impression that you're not 18 too. Because like, yeah, dude. I was I was shocked when you're that young. Honestly, because like you, you've been like I saw you fucking working the camera mm-hmm. and like running around that whole night and like fucking I've seen all your pictures and shit and I'm like I would never do that as an 18 year old. This guy's <laughs> 22, guy's <laughs> <laughs> but it's fucking dope, so Mr. Funny. Gustavo on Instagram. Uh, Jimmy, you got anything coming up? I mean, I guess technically, I mean, I'm playing at uh, the horse you came in on tomorrow, doing some covers there, five thirty to nine. Down at Fells Point. Yep. Uh, Saturday, I'll be at Power Plant, um, Mexis Tequila Bar, and Line and Kugel's Beer Garden. You uh, perform too, or yeah, I play music and oh, stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, That's for awesome. a living, mostly just cover shit. Well, oh, all cool. cover shit, one hundred percent cover shit. For <laughs> the same way you make <laughs> no writing music. Yeah, well, I do. I do write music, but I don't make any money off that whatsoever. Oh, uh, okay. You know, so. Yeah, just, SoundCloud and stuff like that. Or? Yeah, um, you're great. You're excellent. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, sophomore MD on SoundCloud. Like you know, the year in school, sophomore more. There's an O in there. Isn't it? I guarantee you, however many O's you think are in sophomore plus one, and that's how you'll find me. <laughs> sophomore MD on SoundCloud, and as always, LFTS podcast on oh, everything. Yeah. Eric, what do you got, dude? Uh, check out Baltimore Comedy Festival. Open submission till July fifteenth. Um, and then the festival itself is like September 1st to the 5th. It's going to be dope. We got like 13 venues already lined up. We're working on getting the headliners for some of those shows. Uh, I think we're going to have some big shows possibly at Auto Bar and at Union Brewery and maybe exit the art space. So keep tuned for that shit. Um, Follow me at Eric Glazer and... That's probably it for now. Yeah, I mean, I guys, once, I mean, I as always. I always forget to look up plugs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I suck, I suck. But uh, the major Baltimore shout Comedy out, Festival. Major shout out to Laughable. Uh, as always, you guys are dope. It's like, a, uh, I think, hey, they keep telling me it's coming out this summer. It is this summer, so it should be anytime soon on, on Droid, but it's already out on iOS. Uh, it's a sweet app. It's a podcast application, but you can actually search by comedian to find uh, any podcast that they've been on. Which uh, that's the only that's the only platform that I'm aware that you can do that. 
Uh, but yeah, it's it's a really it's a really sweet idea, and thank thank you and guys for having it's us on. It's a dope. It's a fluid app. It's fucking looks nice. Ned's a dope dude. And they Check use the lobster out. font. They use the lobster yeah, font, just like the laughing same font that we use. Yeah. That's what, you <laughs> much know. props, much props to laughing. That's why we were like cool in the beginning. Yeah, That's yeah. Cool. Guys, once again at LFTS Podcast on everything: SoundCloud, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, anything else you can think of. If you think of something we're not on, hit us up, and we'll go on that too. For sure. All right. Until next week. Peace. I right, see. You.